welcome back to all that. Today we have a sip and stitch, which I'm incredibly excited about. What is a sip and stitch? I'm super glad that you asked. It is an entire day for the ghoul squad to get together, have some coffee or your favorite beverage and chit chat about crochet. If you've been here with me for a little while, you know that I love coffee. I love the entire process of picking out whole beans. I love different combos, everything coffee related. I freaking love it. And since we are getting very close to Halloween, that means all the pumpkin stuff is starting to come out. Who's excited? Every time I see that little sticker on the bottom that says limited time only, and I know it's gonna say pumpkin spice on the bottom, I don't care that I have 20 bags of pumpkin spice and pumpkin chai latte chilling in my kitchen right now. I genuinely don't. I want them all. Like I wanna try all of them, bring on the pumpkin. So I had a coffee planned for the day, but then I went to my P.O. box and I found this chilling in there. Okay, there was no note, no letter, or anything like that. It literally just said from Paige. If you are Paige and you sent this to me, thank you so much. It could not come at a more perfect time. So I know that there's gonna be some fun flavors in here. Five bag sample pack. Let's see what flavors are in here. And we're starting with one that I have not tried yet right on the top. Their artwork is fantastic too. I love saving like my favorites. I end up saving the artwork and I'll put them in a picture frame, hang them in my kitchen just because I can. Maple bacon. What? This is such a summer wean flavor. I feel like we absolutely have to try this today. Next, ooh, strawberry cheesecake. I have definitely tried this one. And yes, we are having this today. There's no way around it. Bones Coffee, that's their logo. It's super fun. Another one that I haven't tried, s'more time. Summer wean must have, gotta try it. So we have three out of the five that we're trying. What if it's just all of them? We try all of them today. Highland Grog. This one looks summery too. I'm gonna say yes. This is one that I've wanted to try for a very long time and I don't know why I haven't gotten it. Cinnabon. Adorable artwork, 100% summer ween. Five for five, we're trying every single one of them today. And a killer sticker. Let's do Cinnabon. I was really, really excited about this. Let's do this one first. I didn't put anything else into it, so it's just black. It's a medium roast, I forgot to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Small batch, medium roast, plain, brewed this up. It smells freaking amazing though and it's delightful. Yeah, this is definitely a must have. In the morning time, oh my gosh, that's gonna smell so good just coming downstairs to the smell of cinnamon coffee. I just need to set it down. On to the pattern that I'm gonna be working on today. Because the theme of Summerween in the Yarn Dungeon ended up being creepy cute plushies, I feel like I should definitely do one more. It was like the very first week of Summerween. I made an ice cream cone from Made by Jody 666 I made quite a few of those actually. Decorated, loved them, moved on, made the shrunken heads. There are so many amazing patterns on this site, and a lot of them are very doable in one day day, which I love. It's kind of nice to have those every once in a while in between bigger projects. I just got done finishing up my Sally doll from the Nightmare Before Christmas, and not that that was a big project, but there was a lot of moving parts, which leads me to this. Toxic waste barrels. Let's just appreciate how freaking cute these are for two seconds. There are two different versions of this as well. You can make the original one, which is a plushie. So you make the barrel, fill it up with stuffing, put the top on, there you go. You have this amazing, creepy new toxic barrel. The second option is to go ahead and make it as an actual barrel, which means you can store things in it. And immediately what I thought of was my crochet hooks. This would be so freaking sick. And the fact that I wanna change this up we're coming up to the end of the month, so I wanna change this up again. Totally perfect. Must have in the Yarn Dungeon accessory. Normally, I choose my own colors and vary it up a little bit. Sometimes I use completely different yarn than what's suggested in here. Not this time. I am going exactly by what the pattern says, and here's the reason why. Had a chit chat with Jody and found out the reason this yarn is used for this particular pattern, it glows under UV light. Done and done. Headed out to Michael's to try to find this. It is neon crap craft yarn, Michael's brand, and it is hard to find. So if you see this and you love it and you're getting excited about it as well, I would highly suggest looking online first, scrolling down and putting your zip code in and see around you where it's gonna be or if it's gonna be better to order online. Luckily, I have quite a few Michaels around me, so I eventually found it, but I did have to go to four or five different ones before I found every single color that I wanted. Some stores didn't have any. When I first saw it, 
it. I didn't know what to expect. A lot of times store brand craft yarn ends up being a little starchy, a little stiff, but not this yarn. This was incredibly soft, genuinely shook by how soft this yarn was, which made me pull it up online to see what people were using this for. And like everything, cardigans, mittens, hats, scarves, and it's an incredibly affordable yarn, as well as it glows in the dark. I ended up getting one of every color, Craftsmart Value Neon Yarn. Honestly, I wish you could feel this yarn right now. So freaking soft. I would never guess that this is a value yarn or their craft yarn. I genuinely want to make a sweater out of it. I didn't get enough for that, but I might end up going back. So we have this one, which is called Neon Violets. This color is seriously everything. Neon Orange, I'm seeing a trend. I'm gonna guess this one is Neon Yellow. Almost a bright yellow that like hurts your eyes. 100% what I wanna see with neon colors in yarn. That's how intense I want them. The last color is Neon Pink. Total killer clown vibes right there. I feel like I want to do the pink and yellow, especially since I feel like it looks like killer clowns from outer space. And I already have a couple of items in the yarn dungeon to decorate for that. These are the winners today. And it's time for another cup of coffee. This one smells and tastes like marshmallow, which is my all time favorite scent and smell in the entire world. I honestly have lotion that smells like marshmallows because I love marshmallows so much. This cup is not gonna last long at all. Using my new gadget again to read off my pattern, it seriously helps my neck because otherwise this would just be flat on the ground. All right, what else do I need? Stitch marker, I need to grab that. I always forget the stitch marker. It's just habit at this point in time. We're gonna go with a pink base and a yellow top or like the ooze is gonna be yellow. Barrel two, empty barrel. That's where we're gonna start. Oh, I also need to grab pen and paper because I officially have lost my stitch counter. I thought maybe it was just in the yarn dungeon somewhere and I was eventually gonna find it. It's been over a month. It's pretty safe to say that it is lost at this point in time. Decided to get a little cozier. Dessert in a cup, that's what this one is. Found especially when making stuffies, it is so important to stretch. And like give your hands a little massage every once in a while, they will totally thank you. My two hour alarm just went off, which meant it was time for me to get up and do a little bit more than just stretching. Some sort of exercise, bike, run. It's a little bit dark out right now since it's late. So I just did some weightlifting, went downstairs and did that. I don't know what I was expecting with this one, but it's really strong. The flavors are very, very present. I don't know how else to explain it. It's good. I'm not saying it's cup number four, but we are on flavor number four because I had a couple of the strawberry cheesecake. It's just so freaking good. I saved the maple bacon for last. I already opened the bag. It smells delightful. I'm really, really excited for that one. This is almost done. I just need to find my scissors. I don't know where I set them down. How awesome is this? I will say I did do this part wrong the first time, so I had to pull that off and completely redo it. Luckily, it was only a couple of rows, so it wasn't too bad. Then you're supposed to flip this down like it is already doing. But when I worked it up, it looked like that, which is kind of cool in and of itself. It's like splashing action motion of toxic waste inside the barrel. That's the end. Like, that's what it's supposed to look like. I need to sew this all down. Oh, I don't think I cut it long enough. This would be really fun to mess around with the length of the drips. My Sam Stuffy from Trick or Treat holds all of my scrap yarn. This is gonna look so freaking sick in it. This is just from the past couple of days and I end up using it for stuffies. Whoa, I just made quite a few plushies the other day so I don't have a lot of it left, but normally this is overfilled. How freaking cool is this? I love it so much. I want so many more to fill up my entire coffin. 
I need to find some felt to put the radioactive sign on. I honestly don't know if I have any, so that might have to wait until a later date. That's fine because it's totally done. Otherwise, I can go ahead and put my hooks in here that I want. Wait till you see the ones that I chose to put in here. I feel like it's gonna be totally perfect. Furl's Crochet had a little bit of a restock the other day on their candy shop line of hooks. So I added a couple more onto my collection. These are just intense colors in and of themselves. They're not technically neon, but they're supposed to be candy. So it's intense colors, very bright, very vibrant, goes right along with this. I'm so glad I waited to the end. I think this is my favorite. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because I am ready for the fall that I'm like, Mabel Bacon, this is definitely Summerween. New found favorite. Some of them are labeled, some of them are not. Oh, this one says blood orange on it. So I did label this one. I was a little bit nervous that these were gonna be too short for this because it ended up being a lot taller than I was thinking. And this line in particular just has a shorter handle. Let's open the rest of them. Oh, witchy purple in your face. Don't ask me to pick my favorite one because I have no idea when it comes to these. Nether witchy purple, not quite as dark. This blue though, oh, I love it so much. Strawberry. And lastly, the summerween color, toxic green. So cute. I just mean to make a couple more of these because I didn't want to overstuff it. I think this is enough. I didn't find anything to put on the inside in order to hold up and like add a little bit more structure. Maybe in the near future, I'll look for something to put in here to add more structure. But for now, it's doing what it needs to do. All right, goals, it is time for me to go to bed officially, but I had a lot of fun. Thank you for hanging out with me for a sip and stitch. If you love this and you wanna hang out again, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if there's a particular type of coffee that you want me to try, shout it out. I have a very long list that I'm gonna be working through, but I can totally add to it. Definitely make sure you check out this pattern from Made by Jody 666 I will 100% be using this yarn again to make my next version, just switching up the color combo, but this yarn did exactly what I wanted it to do and it looks amazing in the dark. Otherwise that is it for now. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.